the Indians trying to finish off a three-game sweep of the slumping Angels on Sunday. And a good start for the home team in this one, bottom one. Michael Brantley digs in to face Jared Weaver. And Brantley smokes it down the right field line. Fair ball. In the corner it goes. Scoring is Kipnis. Brantley into second base with double number 40. Now the shift is on. Three go to the right side of the infield. Carlos Santana batting left-handed. Now the payoff. A swing and a high fly ball. Fairly deep right center, but playable. Mike Trout fighting that. Son can't find it. Ball drops next to him. On his way to third, Brantley's being waved home. Relay throw to the plate, slide, take, safe at the plate. On his way to third is Santana. And the Indians even have an ally in Mother Nature. A swing and a soft liner toward left coming on, diving. Backhanded catch made by David Murphy. Oh, what a play by the former Indian. On a soft liner to left, he got a great break, charged, and never hesitated, making a diving backhanded grab to take a hit away from El Monte. His batting average just keeps going up. Runner goes, Brantley takes off. Santana he better pick it up. The right field. He better get back. Calhoun lost it in the sun. Second Angels outfielder who lost the ball in the sun. Santana to second, Brantley to third. Wow. Santana has got two hits today, two doubles because of sun balls. He knows how to use the elements to his advantage. Uh, I'm telling you. And now Abraham Almonte, Indians still with the bases loaded. Almonte sends a fly ball deep right field. Calhoun back. He's out of room. It's out of here. Second straight day, an Indians player has hit a grand slam. 6 nothing Cleveland. That breaks their back right there. El Monte, his third home run. And boy, it comes with two outs. To short, Lindor on the big hop sets. Throws, got him. A 1-2-3 seventh inning for Josh Tomlin. Indians complete the three-game sweep with a 9-2 win. It is their fifth win in a row. Despite the fielding mishap, Mike Trout did have his second four-hit game of the season, and he came a home run shy of the cycle. Meanwhile, Francisco Lindor becomes the second Indians rookie in the last 50 years to collect at least 40 hits in a month, joining Coco Crisp.